Aloha, this is Samo Guy in Hawaii, and I recently completed a maximum weapon damage list that complements one posted by Kyler a few weeks prior. Kyler and I actually ended up comparing notes and correcting each other's errors, with the end result that both lists are now essentially in sync and hopefully about 99% accurate. Kyler also graciously offered to post my list with his, which is in fact where it resides. If you have the link to Kyler's list, you have the link to the one I did. It's just a separate tab. That link is posted in the comments below. Now, having said that, I made that list because people were constantly asking for something like it. And I assume Carlos' rationale was the same. If that's what people want and we can supply it, we're happy to help. However, for the title of this video, max listed damage does not always equate to maximum performance. And spending hours farming for a max damage variant is not always a good use of our time. Worse, swapping a lower listed damage variant for a max listed damage one can sometimes result in a less effective build. Okay, listed damage is only one factor determining how effective a build is at taking down various enemies quickly and efficiently. Your reload speed, rate of fire, magazine size, even accuracy and handling can have an effect. Crit bonuses, splash damage bonuses, even elemental damage, elemental chance can also factor in. Any combination of factors combined with a build and play style can have an effect. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate a couple of examples where max damage is not the way to go. The first is DPS or damage per something per second, something I tend to emphasize in many of my videos. DPS is about doing cumulative damage over time, particularly with rapid fire large mag weapons like most SMGs, many ARs, and some pistols. The more tanky an enemy, the longer the potential fight, the more important mag size and reload speed become, often more important than listed damage. This becomes really important during bossing. Okay, case in point, the torrent. This SMG has good base damage combined with extremely high rates of fire. This is a max damage example. This, per the math, is a max DPS example. Okay, the only difference between the two besides listed damage is magazine size, which explains the difference in damage, and reload speed. And the max DPS example has a slightly longer reload. Over the long run, however, firing, reloading, fire, reloading until a tanky enemy is dead, the max DPS does more damage and kills faster. Uh, to prove this, I did 25 runs, well, to show it in, ex in actual play, I did 25 runs each on Captain Tron with each of these weapons using this build. Okay, this is not an optimized build. It's just for comparison purposes. An optimized build can dispose of Tron in seconds. The build ignores personal space, so distance from target doesn't matter, and it bypasses remnant, so no random kills from orbs spawn by an ad. I also bypassed fast hands and alacrity, which would confer a small but greater benefit on the max DPS torrent because... It has a longer base reload period. Also spec out of catharsis, as well as the hollow point guardian rank perk because I occasionally got ads exploding next to and finishing off Tron prematurely. Okay. Now the gear, gear anointments or gear passes convey an advantage on one weapon or the other. They both have the plus 250% phase cast anointments. I started the timer with the first phase cast and stopped it when Tron was defeated. I tried to follow the same combat routine, phase cast, empty at least three magazines, phase cast again, empty at least three mags, etc. Okay. Now run lengths still vary depending on random occurrences. Sometimes Tron presented his crit spot to us, which sped things up, <clears throat> other times not. Sometimes ads got in the way. After all was said and done, however, the max damage variant took on average about 36 seconds, while the max DPS took about 33 seconds. Now, there's two ways to interpret those, those average numbers. One, max DPS is better, as the math said, in the long run. This is what the math says on paper, and the testing bears this out. Alternatively, we could say there's no appreciative difference between the two, but that's a win for the max DPS as well. I mean, why bother with trying to find a max damage variant if one with less damage performs just as well? Okay. One other thing of note, I love the torrent, but I don't use either of these. Okay, I use this one. It's a single shot variant that does less damage per shot than either of the two we tested. It's not max single shot damage. It's not max single shot DPS either, although its DPS is pretty high. I use this torrent in a Terra ammo regen build. That build has skills and gear that boost magazine size. And the larger base magazine size of this torrent means that with max Terra ammo regen, in this build, we can fire this torrent almost indefinitely without reloading. Okay, if I use, if we use either the max damage or max DPS variant, we will not only do less damage over time in the long run, because we reload a lot more, we will run out of ammo in a long boss fight. So for this particular build, 
the best choice is not max list. The damage, and that's actually two examples, a DPS example and a build specific example. Let me show you a third very different example. This is the Clairvoyance, probably my favorite assault rifle in the game. Only comes in cryo and it leaves a sticky on crit, which explodes after a few seconds, doubling our crit damage. Any Clairvoyance will do at least 4.2 times listed base damage when critting, and that doesn't include any ricochet from the initial crit because this is a Jacobs. For this reason, the key to using the Clairvoyance is actively going for and getting crits. Critical hits. Megavore on Flak is not enough because it only crits about 20% of the time. Zane's Hustler mod is just as inconsistent. We have to go for and get crits as often as possible, or we are wasting our time with this weapon. With that in mind, this is a max damage clairvoyance, but this is the one I use. Okay, it's not max damage, but it is the highest damage variant we can get, which maxes out our crit bonus. Okay, max damage variants because of parts can only have plus 0% or plus 10% crit bonuses. I picked this one with plus 10% to give it every advantage. This one with the lesser base damage does plus 33% bonus critical hit damage. Okay, here's base damage, body shots. And here's what each does critting. Okay, makes sense? Now, I'm not saying max damage is never the way to go. Max listed damage is often about taking advantage of game mechanics, interaction skills that key off listed gun damage or listed elemental gun damage. Okay, if we were talking about pure sniper builds that use Jacob weapons or many launcher builds or even some shotgun setups, maximum listed damage can be the way to go. If we are doing an anarchy build and stacking anarchy before jumping into combat, max damage may be the way to go. Okay, if we are mobbing with a weapon that can kill efficiently before reloading, and we can easily survive the reloading period, max damage, listed damage, again, may be the way to go. I'm just saying we should not automatically assume max damage is the way to go. If we have a build that works with a particular weapon, and we acquire a variant of that weapon with higher listed damage, even max listed damage, we should not automatically dump the one with lower damage. Okay. I'm also not saying we have to do the math. We do not. You don't have to do any of the math. Okay. But we might want to at least test the newer weapon in gameplay and see how it matches up before dumping one or the other. Okay, we might also want to do the same if we find one with a slightly lower damage. Okay, let's keep that in mind. One last point, and this is the most important point. I made this video to help people make better builds and better enjoy the game overall. If it does not do that, if you don't want to take my advice, if you would much rather keep farming for a max damage variant because you enjoy the grind and love it when that one max damage variant finally drops, then do that. Play the game your way, okay? If that brings you joy and doesn't hurt anyone else, then to hell what, with whatever guy says, okay? <laughs> Forget what I say. If you like this content, consider liking, subscribing, or commenting on all three, or come and check me out on twitchtv.com slash And as always, stay safe and thanks for watching.